The part appearance and material is defined in a part studio. The appearance defines the color, transparency, and tessellation quality of the part. Changing the part appearance visually distinguishes parts between each other in multi-part part studios, assemblies, and drawings with shaded views. Assigning material to a part defines the physical property, density, for that part. Onshape calculates the mass, center of mass, and moments of inertia using the density and geometry of the part. These properties are viewed from the mass properties dialog and inform the designer about the physical attributes of the part and might be used to run simulation analysis. As parts are designed in a part studio, Onshape assigns a default appearance to each part using the Onshape color palette. To customize the appearance of a part, right-click on a part in the graphics area or the part name in the parts list and select Edit Appearance. Pick the needed color from the palette options or use the mixer to define a color. You can also input a hex color code or RGB values to choose a specific color. The slider adjusts the transparency of the appearance. When the slider is towards the right at a one value, the part displays as completely opaque. Dragging the slider to the left changes the appearance to be transparent. When the slider is all the way towards the left, the part appearance is completely transparent. To reuse an appearance in other part studios, select the plus sign under custom colors. All new custom colors are available in other documents as well. The tessellation quality determines the render quality. A finer tessellation quality renders higher quality graphics but typically takes longer to load than a more coarse option. The auto option is chosen by default and finds the best balance between rendering quality and performance. To assign a material to a part, right click on a part in a graphics area or on a part name in a parts list and choose assigned material. Onshape provides a default material library, but you can create custom material libraries and administrators and professional companies and enterprises can make these libraries available to all users. To pick a material from a custom library, Select the Onshape Material Library pull-down and choose another library. After you select the correct library, click the pull-down menu that displays the current material of the part. This might display none if a material has not yet been chosen. Find the needed material by scrolling through the list or searching by name. After selecting a material, the dialog displays the properties of the material. Accept the dialog to apply the selected material. To apply a material or edit an appearance for multiple parts, Select all the parts, then right-click and choose Assign Material or Edit Appearance. After applying a material, you can view the mass properties of that part in the Part Studio or in Assembly. Select the part and click the Mass Properties icon on the bottom right of the graphics area. To view the mass properties of several parts when working in a multi-part part studio or in Assembly, select all of the parts or instances. Notice, you can add parts to the selection or deselect parts with the Mass Properties dialog open. The Mass Properties displays the mass, volume, surface area, center of mass, and moments of inertia of all selected parts. The frame of reference is the part studio origin or assembly origin unless otherwise defined. These calculations are approximations, checking the show calculation variance displays the difference between the lower and upper bounds of the calculated value. If a selected part does not have a material defined, a notification appears in the mass properties dialog. The mass properties do not include parts that does not have a defined material so be sure to assign a material to all parts when needing to understand the mass properties. Changing the appearance of parts creates visual differences, making it easier to identify them in assemblies, multi-part part studios, and shaded views and drawings. Assigning material to parts applies the physical property, density, so calculations can be made to determine the mass, center of mass, and moments of inertia.